Welcome back, cowards. Welcome back, cowards. It's another week. It's another episode of Mitch Eats. Last week, we went back to our roots a little bit with a worst-reviewed food video in Brisbane. Got a lot of love on that, some really good views, some really good engagement, and we got tons of new subscribers. So welcome to the Coward Club if you haven't been here already. Uh, we had some scheduling issues this week. I had some stuff booked with a restaurant to film. Unfortunately, it didn't work out, so I've had to push that back a little bit, which means I was kind of scrambling for an idea. And last week it felt really good to go back to sort of this place, uh, doing things that I started off doing that people really enjoyed. And so I thought I'd take it all the way back to the OG episodes. So this is an episode of Mitch Eats Random Shit that he found at the Asian Grocer, which is how this channel originally started. So today I'm getting really, really gross. I mean, potentially it could be really, really delicious. And that's the whole point. We have some black sesame yam paste cake from Japan, some canned quail eggs in water, cock brand specifically. They are a product of Thailand. And then we have the king of canned Asian grocer foods. We have a pork leg with mushrooms in a can. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open them all up, we're gonna eat them, and I'm gonna let you cowards know what they're like, because I know you don't wanna taste them yourselves. So this yam paste, I'm pretty sure it has to be cooked. It's very squishy. It reminds me of, um, those toys you had as a kid where they would like slip through your hands, extremely phallic, very sex toy adjacent. Uh, and that's kind of what it feels like. So I'm gonna slice her open, cook her in a pan, and tell you what it's talking about. All right, so we're back with our now warmed bowl of Japanese yam paste cake. Uh, I'd actually think it might be a lie that this is from Japan because all Japanese food is good and this does not smell good at all. It smells um, kind of seaweedy, like the ocean, which I was not expecting. I thought it was just like a potato product, so I'm not 100% sure why it smells of the ocean. I don't know if I cooked it long enough. I kind of just wanted to like toast it off, I guess, but it didn't really seem to do much. You can see it's still quite gelatinous. So yeah, let's just give it a whirl. Tastes like literally nothing. It tastes like boiled water with a tiny hint of the ocean in it. The texture is really wild. The texture is like what I would imagine it would be like if you ate an eraser or a, a rubber for my Australian fam. So yeah, can't say I'd recommend yam paste cake because uh, it doesn't really seem worth eating. I think I might wash that down with a canned quail egg. So we got our quail eggs here in water. Don't really know what to expect. Don't know whether they're gonna have shells on them. Don't know whether they're even gonna be cooked, but we're about to find out. So let's pop these puppies open. So immediately I'm hit with the scent of, boil <laughs> of boiled eggs. Uh, as you can see, they are just uh, <laughs> boiled quail eggs, pre-peeled, ready to pop. And that's what we're gonna do. Oh, I need some water. Okay, that was not the best, uh, the best egg I've ever had. The texture of the whites was absurd. Again, like a rubber. The inside, the yolk didn't taste like much. Like, ew. it was like a really pasty yolk. Really like a light yolk. Like, it's definitely not a dark orange boy. In fact, I'm gonna split one open and see what color the yolk is, yeah. You can see, it's a yellow yolk. I mean, it tastes like a yellow yolk, a slightly <coughs> aged one. I'm not happy about that. Which means it's time to move on to the canned pig's foot. Okay, we've got our chopsticks back with us because I'm really not sure about digging around in here. Uh, the can just says pork leg with mushrooms. Obviously there's not a whole pork leg in here unless it's an extremely tiny Spy Kids 2 style pork or pig, I should say. Uh, so I think it might just be the foot. Let's rip her open. Yeah, so immediately I'm hit with, 
with a stench of meat. Not the good kind of meat. I'm not talking like a charcoal grilled steak. I'm talking like meat that's been in a can for a long time. Okay, that's a mushroom. I haven't actually seen the pig's leg yet. Oh God, where are you? I think we're gonna have to pull this bad boy out in a bowl so we can get a real good view of it. Okay, so you've got some skin in there, you've got some fat in there, you've got some bones in there. Uh, it looks absolutely disgusting. So the best thing I can think of to do is uh, eat it. Now, I've just had a message from my friend Chloe, who we've heard about before. She always roasts me for not eating things the correct way. But unfortunately for her, I've completely disregarded her advice and I'm just gonna eat it straight from the can. There's some recipes online that make it sound like it could be kind of, oh, that it, it could be kind of nice, but it's not what this is about. This is about um, just eating things from a can, uh, non-perishables. So here goes nothing. Ooh, good. Guys, it's not that bad. Honestly, if you cooked this up with like some cabbage and maybe some noodles or something, this would be kind of good. It just straight up tastes like pork. I honestly thought it was gonna be absolutely disgusting, but it really is not bad. Like, I'm not gonna keep eating it because the whole room temperature-ness of it is gross and it's slimy and oily. Yeah, I can see why people eat this. I was gonna say, like, there's a lot of stuff that goes on in China that I'm not educated enough to speak on. This I am educated enough to speak on and I'm okay with China producing and consuming this. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below if you wanna see me try some other stuff. Make sure you like the vid. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, I really appreciate everyone checking it out. I have rescheduled with the restaurants that I had coming up, so we absolutely have more content coming out. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Peace.